tonight. This is a super fun space, um, and I'm excited to sing for you. And thanks so much to the Lyric Center for having me, Pete and Mary. This is great. I'm going to start with a song um, about waiting tables and having big dreams. It's a song called Cloud. Seattle in 
uh, June of last year, and we have not seen the sun for a while now. That's not true. It comes out. It comes out in like these brief moments every day. Ten days. Yeah, yeah. But um, it's just so nice to be cold and in the sun. That's fantastic. Um, this song is an upbeat number about dreams that are dying. Um, I'm just <laughs> um, no, but it, it, it does take place in the Minnesota dreary landscape, and I wrote the song more as just a warning of um, what can happen when you let your dreams kind of lay on, on, the, on the side, but you can always just pick them up again, so this is a hopeful song too, it's called Nothing to Dream.
that some of you in the audience have known me since I started singing. And this is a song off an album that was made in 2004. I'm going to pull one out. <clears throat> it's a love song, and it's fun to sing with Kale these days. It's called What I Really Want From You.
is way better. <laughs> I like to tell people I grew up playing the piano and I really learned music by sight and not by ear. So um, it's nice to have my tuner helping me out here. I'm getting better. It's something you can practice. Did you know I thought perfect pitch was something you were just born with? But you can actually practice it. And I've been practicing and it's, 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 not, it's not perfect, but it's getting there. Uh, no, it's not getting there, but it's getting better. Um, Oh yes, okay, so this song, um, this is a song that just tries to, I don't know, I, I'll let the story tell itself. It's called Hollow Part.
finish this first set with a few more songs that um, might be recording at some point, but at this point, it's not happening. Thank you, Kim. So for those of you brave souls who haven't heard my songs before, they do have a lot of words. So thanks for keeping up. <laughs> um, sometimes I can't keep up, so I'm hoping. I haven't played this song in a while, which I'm kind of ashamed to say because this song is about the Iron Range and how special it is. But I always play it when I'm here. Um, so I, I grew up in Arizona, and then I went to college in the Twin Cities. That's where my um, parents grew up, but they moved out to the desert before I was born. Um, so while I was at school, I met a friend who grew up in Cook, and she brought me up to this area a few times and introduced me to amazing people. And so I had to write a song about the amazing people and the amazing place that this is. It's called Bring My Mind. There's a certain level of sanity that I think you all have that we don't in the city, um, and I'm very jealous of that. I'm traveling down this road I never traveled down long before. I tried this time, but I couldn't bring my mind. No, I wouldn't bring my mind. You put me in your shoes. You thought there was something I could use. You drew me a map to the place you found your mind. To the place you found your mind.
just like you singing that same old song. I'll be just like you singing that same damn song. And I'm singing a new one.
short break, and then I'll do a shorter set for the second one. Okay. Thoughts like arrows. 
to think you're here now, but they will fly home now, home now, but here we go, going home. Thank you. 
fourplex in Minneapolis and had this little uh, garden just on the side of the wall. It wasn't very big. It was like the length of a, I don't know, a walkway. That doesn't mean anything. Walkways can be long and short. It was very, very small. And we grew a lot, um, as much as we could in the space, and we had these four tomato plants, and they were crazy. They just so many tomatoes. And, um, I was <clears throat> sitting in the kitchen one day thinking about the tomato plants and how they were growing, and I was feeling kind of, um, I don't know, there's this, uh, there's this desire I have uh, to, to bring heaven back down to earth. Like I, I was brought up in a, in a church that really focused on the next life, and I really want to focus on this one because this one is so important, and um, sometimes we can forget that. And I was thinking about how in this life we get the sun and the rain, just like the tomatoes, and they grow, and they need both. Um, and this song is called Send Me Home.
I'll make a pretty thing. It's my favorite button back there. I think it's a really powerful statement. We take our pain and we, we can still make a pretty thing about our lives in spite of the things that have happened to us. It's not going to be a perfect thing, um, but it's going to be. We can we can bring beauty into the world and we can make our lives beautiful. And things happen to us. And um, yeah, like what am I trying to say? Like there's this part of us that maybe been hurt and it keeps trying and trying and trying, but it doesn't feel very successful because it's kind of a deep hurt. But it keeps trying, and that's such a beautiful, beautiful thing.
took me a long time to find value in my voice. And that journey was really difficult. And it felt like, um, I just think that part of the reason why it was hard for me to find my voice was because it was female. And I, um, I just want to honor women in this song and honor their voices. Live for her. 
intermission and I don't feel like I have a home anymore, like no place I belong to because we've been, um, we've just lived in a number of places now, but this is fine because this means we're travelers and we'll travel back here at least once a year. That's my hope. And so please keep folk music alive. <laughs> Sign up on my mailing list and I'll let you know when I'm playing again. Um, yes, concerts like these, they're so special and folk music needs support. It really does. Thank you for being here and supporting us. Um, this last song is called The Night. There's a poem by Rumi called The Guest House, which has been in my kitchen for so many years. Um, and I won't recite the whole thing to you, but it's about welcoming in every emotion as an honored guest, because it has something to teach us, even the dark ones. <laughs>
talk to us before you go. Okay? Deal. Thank you. Yes. Thanks.